Y'all get ready? Yes, you get Y'all ready. We are gathered here today to sip some tea, honey. So make sure you guys have your teacups ready because this tea is what? Piping hot. Hey, you guys. I hope you guys are doing good today. So make sure to go to lovelytea.net or amazon.com forward slash shops forward slash lovely tea for all your tea sipping needs. Thank you guys so much for the support and stay tuned for the video. All right, you guys. So I want to come out here and talk about the whole Stephen A. Smith situation. So as you guys all know, I'm into damn sports, okay? So the other day, Stephen A. Smith was talking. You know, I tend to respect Stephen A. Smith. I tend to respect, you know, some of his damn opinions. But, you know, this video clip of him that's making rounds around social media because it's gone viral was just totally disgusting to me. And I was just really disappointed in him for speaking in this manner, especially being that he's an older gentleman. Um, But basically, he says that he would be insulted if a woman with a small butt even approached him. He only wants girls with big old booties like Kim Kardashian and J-Lo and Beyonce, that if you have a small ass, you better not even look his damn way, okay? I want you guys to go ahead and check out this video clip that's going viral all over social media. Go ahead and check this out, and I'm gonna come back with the rest of my commentary. I just, I had a girl, and you know, I'm, I'm me personally, I, I, I'm a booty leg, I'm a booty leg and hit man to the core. You don't have that, you, it's insulting that you've even approached me, okay? I had a girlfriend that obviously was stacked, Kardashian, J-Lo, Beyonce type stack. You know what I'm saying? And we were getting into an argument a few years ago, and she was living in Chicago, and it was Thanksgiving. And I was about to send her behind back. She ticked me off that much. But she had on a lingerie. And I was, in a, I, was in, I, was, I was on the other side of the room. And then she got up, and you know, she was getting on and talking and running her mouth and all this stuff. Then she turned and she walked away. Her body was in the in the bedroom, but the booty was sticking outside of it. <laughs> Stay with me. When I saw that, it's 10 o'clock in the morning. I walked up to her and I said, it's really not that important what we were arguing about. It's not that important because I knew that by that night, because we were going to go out to the family and all this stuff, I knew by the end of that night, I wanted that. Honey. First of all, Stephen A. Smith, you should be damn grateful and prayerful, honey, okay? If any woman comes to holler at you with that damn billboard forehead of yours, okay? And I know I got a big old forehead, but I don't give a damn. It's not as big as Stephen A. Smith's. Any damn ways, I'm not feeling that comment just for the fact that we have a lot of young women out here who are dealing with self-esteem issues, okay? We have it where, you know, when you go on Instagram or in the magazine, it's all about big, big butts. And I'm talking about real big, crazy butts like Nicki Minaj's booty or Black China's booty. You know what I'm saying? The bigger, the better. And you have women who are literally dying to look like that. They're getting cement injected in their ass and silicone and all types of really dangerous, you know, substances. And I've talked about this over the years. And the ones who aren't doing that, they're all running to go get fat transfers, okay? So it's like when you say things like a woman with a small butt, it's insulting for them to even approach you, that's very wrong to say that because you have a lot of women who are, not every woman out here is built like a Kim Kardashian or built like a J-Lo. And little booties damn matter, okay? Real booties matter and people need to stop acting like, you know, unless you have a big old ass, you're just not worthy. How do I say goodbye to what we have? Imagine if this was a woman up there talking about, you know what I'm saying, if you got a small peen, don't even talk to me. Imagine if I sat on my damn YouTube platform and I said, if your shit ain't minimum, minimum nine inches, you know, minimum nine inches, you better not even look my damn way. Y'all would be dragging me. I'd be all types of hood rats. I'd be an oversexed female. Y'all would be going in on me, but for some reason, when a man talks like this, it's supposed to be okay. Well, you know, he's a heterosexual man. I don't see nothing wrong with it. You know, he's telling the truth. I like a fat ass. There's nothing wrong with liking a fat ass. There's nothing wrong with big butts at all, okay? There's nothing wrong with big butts. There's nothing wrong with having, you know, a little cute little shape. But don't sit and talk down to women whose booties may not be as voluptuous, who may not be as big because when you're putting that out there you're also planting seeds in young boys heads who watch your show Stephen A. Smith my sons included and you're making it seem like women you know unless they're shaped like Kim Kardashian or Beyonce they're not worthy of your time they're not worthy of these young men's time unless these women got big old booties and stuff like that they're not worthy of love and I don't think that's okay I don't think that's a good message to send out there you know because like I said you have a lot of young girls who are already dealing with self-esteem issues who feel like you know they put all their value into their backside and the big
bigger their butt is, the more men they can have, and you know, the better things will be for them. And that's not necessarily the case. I think it's very ignorant for him to speak like that, especially being, you know, he's an older man. You know, I couldn't say if he was like a rapper or somebody who was like in his early 20s. You know, I, I expect that from these little young, you know, mumble rappers. But for a man who's, I think he's in his 50s or he's very close to his 50s, you're a grown ass man and you're still stuck on the physical. That's just weird because I always assume as people get older and they get more mature, you start, you know, not being so stuck on the physical and you try to look at other things, you know what I'm saying? Why we would all love a nine inch dick. Sometimes, you know, unfortunately, you know, good things come in small packages too. You know what I mean? So it's just like for him to just sit there and say that, you know, he would be insulted. I just think that's kind of a slap in the face to women whose booties may not be as big. You know what I mean? I just think that's kind of rude for him to even put that out there. So I wasn't feeling that damn commentary from Stephen A. Smith. You know what I mean? He puts in a lot of work. He's a good commentator as far as sports. But as far as like, you know, him having this casual conversation, he should have kept that shit in the locker room. So anyways, y'all, let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. Go ahead and leave a comment. Let me know your thoughts on this entire messy ass situation, honey. Once again, concerning Stephen A. Smith talking about if women with small booties even had the audacity to come and talk to him, he's going to look the other damn way. <laughs> <laughs> so let me know your thoughts. Do you guys agree with Stephen A. Smith? Do you feel like he's doing too much? And then do you agree with me that that's not cool? He's basically planting seeds into younger men's heads to make it feel like women who don't have, you know, these shapes like Kim Kardashian and, and you know, J-Lo are not worthy of affection. They're not worthy of, you know, being dated. They're not worthy of love. So let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. Go ahead and leave a comment. All right. Deuces. <laughs> Hey you guys, it's your girl T and I hope you really enjoyed that video. If you want to know more about my look of the day or if you want a way to contact me concerning advertisement and sponsorship deals, definitely feel free to click my description box. There's plenty of information in there. Please stay tuned for the next video. Talk to y'all later.